How you doing guys? You're here with me, LionXV, and we are playing Maze again today. So with this one, we were in um, like a bunker last time. We met the corn outside where I found that I was a lot shorter than them, so I'm not actually sure that I am still corn. Uh, but they also told us to be wary of their big brother down here. So that's where I got up to. We saw something run past the corridor at the end of last episode. So this is just picking straight up from there. Um, that's a statue and we'll carry on this way. It does give a very vault tech uh, kind of vibe. Mm, more experiments I think. Is there anything down here? No, that's in my notes. Right, this is where he jumped out. Not here anymore. More notes, what do these say? Hi Ted, the fish shipment should be arriving today. Could would you uh, could you be a pal and put them in the tanks for me? Ooh. Bob, you dummy, there are thousands of water tanks here. Do you realise how much feeding these fish will cost? Oh dear. What have we got so many fish for? I don't like it. Don't no, I don't need my English muffin. Uh, which way? Which Well, there's more notes down this way. So we'll go this way. Are these are fish. Some gems, things in it. Um, can't see any fish in them. Unless if the water's all dried up and they're bedoided. Dead it did. Uh, ooh. There's an X. Extremely obvious fate panel. Okay. What's down here? Ooh, a gym. Okay. I pump my abs. Ten. Why is that written backwards? Mm. Ooh, what's that? A dumbbell. Yeah. Oh, so I can't actually use it. What is it then? Try as you might, you are unable to lift this more than two times in quick succession, and yet somehow you continue to carry it with you wherever you go. <laughs> hmm. Just that strong. Or determined, I think. Uh... Right, that's the right way around. Oh, guys, you just copied it round, didn't you, and wrapped it round, I think. Hmm. Oh, what's this? A triumphant test report. What's that one? The only way this report could sound more triumphant is if trumpets were blurred every time it was read. <laughs> Explains the very promising results after examining one of the new sentient corn stalks, a breed of ruby queen corn that shows high levels of intelligence. It also glosses over the fact that this specimen is somehow female, which was apparently impossible under the genetic protocol the facility used to create them. Alright, okay. Cool. We, we've got a queen. The queen of corn. Anybody in these lockers? Uh, ooh, a sweaty headband. Oh yes. The game is complete now. Uh, toilet. Nope, nothing in the toilet. Showers. Ooh, what's that? Soap? A nondescript rock. I need to fall you on. A run of mill rock with no defining features whatsoever to discern it from the billions of other rocks currently in existence. Its name's Mabel. Mabel the rock. Mabel the pebble. Right. Ooh, well, I can... Oh, right. So those orange boxes have got to disappear soon. I can get through those vents. Um, so I guess I just head back now. Intercom? No. TVs are off. Hmm. Uh, let's try these items on that obviously fake panel and see if that does anything. Smash it with the English muffin? No. Uh, yeah, let's go down here. Oh, class daycare? Okay, this is a bit freaky. Um, the fuck is that? A pipe? Is it falling from the roof somewhere? Okay. Oh, Teddy. Looks like a uh, Teddy Rookspin. 
if uh, anybody's old enough to remember that. It is a nondescript children's block adorned with letters and numbers. As you spend a long amount of time trying to figure out which is which, eventually you sort it out, but the number five still fools you every now and then. Doesn't it with everybody? Oh, here we go. Bob, you lazy buffoon, I know you're spending all your time here and not signing the giant stack of paperwork I left at your desk. Stop playing with your toys and do your job, cordially, Ted. And also, for the thousandth time, why do we even have a daycare? There are no children here, half-wit, cordially, Ted. Okay, so, uh, I love naps. <laughs> That's the uh, manager then. Uh, so that means he's done... He's drawn a flower. Oh, isn't he good? Yeah. Oh dear, okay. Who's are all these names then? If there's no children of a daycare. Oh, that could uh, be a bit sinister. Is he teaching corn? Other side now because there were some uh, da -da -da notes down this side. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything. That's a cool little symbol. Uh, hmm. Let's go down here first. Just, uh, ooh, there's a lot of coat hangers. Cheap jumpsuit! Hell yeah! Right, okay, let's see what these say. Ted, Ted, exciting news. I got us a huge deal on jumpsuits for the facility. I got thousands in bulk at a fraction of the price. I've already used the saving for some great stuff. Shit. Bob, you idiot, you got a good deal on them because they're completely useless. Nobody can wear them. Why? Oh, are they tiny? It'd be the baby ones. Oh, dear. Um... Oh, now I've got a fucking coat rack as well. Fucking bring it, corn. Ooh, and a note. Appears to be a report on the warfare readiness of the subjects of Project Maze. The report states multiple times that the sentient corn had no discernible method of raising or operating a military firearm and have a habit of taking naps right in the middle of the test. The term abject failure also appears all over the documents, a running theme on many reports involving the coin. Oh, poor little guys. I'm sure they're trying the best. Is that it? I came in here for the coat rack. Fucking coat rack of doom. Fuck anybody up who tries anything. What's kind of... Aha! Invoice for a large amount of jumpsuits. Invoice for an order of military grade jumpsuits at a heavy markdown from the original cost. All apparently have the name Mitchell embroidered across the breast and only come in size 4XL. The word defective appears on a few times in very small print. Oh my god. Right. Ooh. Oh. Oh, Teddy. I can place a teddy there. Yeah. Um, what's that? English muffin. It's a sign. Uh, that looks like some kind of robotic arm. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Ooh, what's that? A tour guidebook. It appears to be official guidebook for a tour of a research facility. Good job, Bob. A large portion of the text inside has been redacted, but 20 pages are fully dedicated to the giant bats and mostly re repeat the re that the vats are very large and contain things that should stay in very large vats. Okay. Uh, oh, lots of notes. Let's see. Hiya, Ted. The latest brochures came back from the press. Take a look. I think the really booster too. You're happy to know that the most sensitive bits have been redacted. Safety first. Bob, first, you are an idiot. That brochure is incredibly stupid. Second, for the last time, no tours. Third, if you're going to make this stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We're called Research Head, remember? As in same title, jerk, quarterly Ted. Hi Ted, really sorry, but the final print has been done and sent off. I'll make doubly sure the next one has your name underneath mine on the front. <laughs> oh, what a dick. Good God, Bob. Do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old? This is top secret facility. Where did you send those brochures, moron? He didn't answer. Oh dear. 
everywhere. That's where he fucking sent them. Bob, you jerk, put my ram back where it was. I know you took it and hid it in that stupid spot of yours. Bring it back here, cordially, Ted. All right, ram. Uh, Gripotron. That's what it looked like. So, a Gripotron. There. Turned on power strip. Ooh, computer. Hang on. Bob, stop playing your stupid games on my computer. It's screwing around with my AI experiments. Ooh. Oh, oh, keyboard, keyboard. Uh, keyboard. Hang on, what's this say? Bob, you disgusting slob. Don't you know how to read? Stop eating in here. Uh, right. Keyboard goes... It looks like the keyboard goes there, but I think that might be a sign or something. Right. Okay. No. Why is that not do anything now? Okay. Is that it? I think that's it in here. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Okay. Let's carry on down here. Where are we now? I can't read that. Uh, I'm sure it's important. Ooh. Is this for tank? Oh, shit. Ooh, that's weird. That's to level 2. Can't get to level 2 yet. Okay. Oh, it feels weird walking around in this. I spy that. What's that? A cheeseburger wrapper. Because that is indiscreet from all the other cheeseburger wrappers. Paul is Burger and Grill. Originated from the local fast food restaurant with nutritional information on the wrapper. Now uh, proudly proclaims. Now 100% salmonella free. <laughs> there are no exaggeration. Thousands of these wrappers littering the facility. But a very fetching mustard stain on this particular one. Sparks you to pick it up. Oh, it's like art. The work of art. But it's exactly the same as a mustard stain on all the other wrappers. Good. Good job. If you were going to say that it's a specifically good mustard stain, make it different than the thousands of other ones that are everywhere. That are exactly, exactly the same. God damn it. Right. Hi Ted, notice that you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks, it had a little blemish on it. No sweat though, here's another one. Be a pal and put it up, would you please? Bob, I'm not putting up another one of your paintings, you self-indulgent louse. For God's sake, how many did you order? Cordially Ted. Oh my God. He's made him into a horse. And why is my face on that stupid horse? <laughs> oh. That guy's just having fun. Right. Um, well, this fucking... Oh, shit. Hi. Um, let's go this way, then. Hello, Corn. I'm pleased to meet you. Let us pose another query. If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Hmm, interesting conundrum. What kind of tree? Fur. Can it talk? Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing a lot of bells? Some, but not many. Is it in a glass house? Naturally. I have it. It does make a sound, but since it's a tree, it's too stupid to notice. Correct! Well done. God damn it. Um, hi? Hi. No? I've got a coat rack. What's this? Uh, a schedule outlining the work shifts of the entire facility staff, most notable of the shifts of the two founders, they are completely opposite of each other. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Hi! No? See, they're a lot taller than I am, I don't know. I don't know what I am. I'll soon find out. Uh, oh, a sketcher! Etch a sketch! Um... Okay, that, that's freaky. Why would you want to take a shit while staring at somebody else taking a shit? Hmm, yeah, that's slightly worrying. Hmm, let's see. Right, we're finished in there now. 
So all of these got to do something. Oh, I can go the other way now, can't I? Let's see, I've got an extra sketch. I've got a sweaty headband. All the main bits. Uh, this is Bob's office then, I'm guessing. Fucking hell. Um. Bob, you disgusting slob, until you've cleaned up after yourself, I'm blocking your entrance into the bathroom. I'm tired of calling in my hazmat team every week. <laughs> uh. What is that? A military backpack. That's what I put on the teddy. Yeah. The drawer. What's in the drawer? It is a small screwdriver. Oh yeah, I can use that on the panel, I think. I think that, that'll that be where he's hidden the RAM, won't it? Maybe. Okay, that's the main bits. So we'll go through now and see if I can get that panel open. Idiot. Yes. Hiya Ted, just a heads up, I put your RAM right here. This way it gets less dusty, Bob. Dick. Right, so this goes in the computer room. Right, wow, it's a whole seven bytes of RAM. Fuck, dude. Control a space mission with that amount of RAM. So do I. Oh, my fuck's sake, I keep going the wrong bastard in way, <laughs> where's my computer, here it is, yes, that, that's how you, how you do it, yeah, so you, you then take it with you, and we stick it in this teddy bear, because it's got the slot coming off it, um, okay, no, that's not it. Whoa! Hi! What? what are you looking at? Something on Vladdy's face? Why you not talk? Do you understand? Understand yes. what Vladdy is saying. Yes. <sighs> Butso boy, you're a big idiot. How you survive by being stupid? Mm, pretty much. <sighs> Fine. Glad the help. <sighs> what? Oh, dude, why you're awesome. Huh? Huh? What is this on Vladdy's back? This makes no sense. All of this is very stupid. <sighs> very so, strange. where we go? I mm -hmm. Dude, I don't know. I just made you. I've acquired Vladdy. Hey, Vladdy. Where are we, where are we going now, Vladdy? Let's go. Come on, Vladimir. Oh. We need you to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh my God! What is that? What is, what is Plant saying? Is that a? It is. It's a helicopter. What? Da! Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter! No! Give me a ride! We can all what? fit just climbing! My lucid drug! What's the way? Boy Grisomnyoi! Chitania Versolo! What a rude contraption! Well, if you're just gonna be like that. Oh, right! We completely forgot. We have a message for you. It's very oh. important. You should oh. hit the showers. What's a shower? I have no idea. I don't worry, I don't worry. Vladdy does not like it here. No, Vladdy, I'm with you. Right, I know what path's opened as well, Vladdy. Yeah? We'll just head there just to check. Uh, is it this way? Oh, he looks little squeaks when he walks. Where's he? Come on. Come on, Vladdy. You can do it. Garbage no. everywhere. I know. How bad is it? We're going wrong way, though, dude. Come on. That's it. Um, this. We'll try this way. No. Wrong way again. This way. Little teddy bear. 
Come on, Vladdy. Yo, this way, Vladdy. Yeah, that's it. Keep your little squeaking feet going. Yeah, there we go. You're right there, Vladdy. Right. We're here. Do you want an English muffin? No? Okay. Well, I am going to call that one here. Now we know what we're doing. We've got a cool new companion who seems to fall out with his AI. Or he controlled his arm. I don't know. So thanks for watching. If you did like it, hit the like button down below. And I will catch you guys in my next video.